So Halloween is upon us. Have you been dressing up and stealing sweets from children? Let's take a look at the times a footballer is dressed up for Halloween. There's a few shockers in here. Wherever he goes, Luis Garcia is probably asked about whether his Champions League semi-final match winner for Liverpool in 2005 crossed the line against Chelsea or not. So often dubbed the ghost goal, leaving Jose Mourinho seething that he couldn't defend his crown. To be fair, the Blues had finished nearly 40 points above the Reds and had already beaten them three times that season. 11 years later, the score of the ghost goal concocted probably the most genius idea for Halloween. Well played, Luis. Even if for a multi-millionaire, you could afford to splash out on some bigger goalposts for the garden. Here we have Robin Van Persie and Rio Ferdinand out for a Halloween bash, where they claim they were scaring little kids for fun. Wayne Rooney usually manages that on a weekly basis whenever he looks in the direction of a newborn child, but they wanted to see what the fuss was all about. So, here they are, dressed up as a vampire and Ian Dowie, respectively. Here's Andrea Perlo wearing what looks to be a mutated pumpkin on his head, or, well, what your pumpkin would look like if you left it in the kitchen until Christmas. At the age of 38, Perlo is still playing his football in New York, so hopefully this isn't a glimpse into the future of what he's going to look like when he finally calls it a day. I have respect for players who draw inspiration from their own name when concocting their Halloween costumes, like in the case of former Romania stalwart Razvan Rat. Perfect opportunity to dress up with some kind of diseased vermin. So naturally, here he is as Dracula. Damn it. About 10 years ago, there was an epidemic of Heath Ledger inspired Joker costumes. Last year, there weren't quite as many Joker ones, considering that Jared Leto's exhibition of overacting made everyone want to forget they'd ever sat through a minute of Suicide Squad. But Phil Coutinho still decided that he'd enjoy the movie well enough. Maybe it was the fact that he couldn't understand the dialogue that sounded like it had been written like by a 13 year old boy. And so here he is dressing up as arguably the most nauseating Joker to ever appear on the big screen. Speaking of the Ledger inspired Joker, here we go. Steven Taylor's career may have descended into a bit of a black comedy the longer it went on from pretending to be shot on the pitch to spending about half his life in the treatment room until finally not even Portland Timbers wanted him. So it's probably fitting that he dressed up as a clown on Halloween. Not a bad effort from Tim Krull to his left though. Don't even get me started on Santon. We might as well stay in the comic book world and take a look at Roberto Firmino's depiction of Batman. I'm not sure Firmino has ever seen Batman in his entire life because essentially it just looks like he slapped anything together that he could find to put on his face. I'm not sure he was the story with the teeth. Award for the least amount of effort put into a costume goes to Kevin Davies who just shoved a skeleton mask onto his face. To be honest, I'm not even sure this is a Halloween costume. This is just a window into Jared Piquet's home life, and his eyes are screaming for help. Ever wonder what Peter Crouch would look like with no skin? I know what you're thinking, I was expecting something along the lines of this as well. But apparently this is Crouchy, all 6 foot 7 inch of him, nearly battering his head off the ceiling wherever he goes. Now at first glance you might just think you've stumbled upon some weird drag act. Look closer. Drogba, Kalu, Maluda and Makaleli. Ah, oh, lads. Could you not have just cut some holes in a plastic bag like the rest of us? Although, to be fair, while McAlady looks like he'd rather be anywhere than in this photo, his eyes are filled with regret, Kalu looks surprisingly in his element. So, David Espina is Superman and has a Superman wife and Superman children living in a Superman mansion on Superman Avenue. I wonder, do his kids know that actually he just gets paid to sit on his arse all week, watching others play football at the weekend for a living? And before you say it, I don't have kids. Lucas Leva, you have my respect. Not that you'll ever know or care. With a zip smashed right down his face, that must have taken him hours to repair. And no, that's not Firmino standing right next to him. At least I don't think it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.